this problem we want the voltage V and we need to do that using source transformations. So generally speaking we want to simplify everything uh, in this case away from the device associated with our desired voltage. So I'll start with our current source connected to a resistor. This can be simplified, I'm sorry, uh, transformed into a voltage source in series with a resistor such that we would have the current 9 times the resistance 8. So we'd have 72 volts here and 8 volts right there. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out the voltage source resistor combination with the current so source parallel resistor combination. So now that I've made my transformation I'm going to go ahead and erase my highlight. So having made the transformation we, we look for opportunities to combine circuit elements. So we combine the 8 ohm and the 16 ohm resistor which are in series into a equivalent 24 ohm device. Now in order to make a uh, simplification associated with our 3 amp current source we need to convert this device into its current source form. So that means we can replace with a device where we have 72 amps divided by 24 ohms which is 3 amps and then we move the 24 ohm resistor down there. Let me go ahead and make that replacement. Now I have four elements all in parallel and I want to sum the current sources together and also do a parallel resistor reduction on the two remaining resistors. To make that a little bit easier to see I'm going to interchange the positions of these two devices. Now it's pretty easy to see that we have three amps coming in from two different locations leading to six amps flowing here. As I said we can also combine those two in parallel and 24 in parallel with 12 works out to be 8 ohms. So I think we've gone as far as we can. We have 6 amps flowing through the 8 ohm resistor so the voltage is 6 times 8 or 48 volts.